Here's a quick overview of how to work with actor tools. You start with your final character rig you want to use for animation and export. Open the actor tools and switch over to the Create tab. You give your character a name and select the character group node. It's important that the entire character is grouped under a single node. Press Create Actor. Actor tools ask you to save the scene. If you didn't make any important changes, saving is not necessary. The next window displays a selection of nodes which will be respected for the creation of the actor and eventually for the export. The first list shows all the meshes of the character which are skinned to joints. The related skin cluster nodes are displayed in the second list. If you have any blend shape nodes on your mesh, these are shown in the third list. If you deselect a mesh to exclude it from the actor and export, the related skin cluster will be deselected as well. If all the correct nodes are listed and selected, you can press continue. The actor is created in an automated process after which the export master scene is loaded with a reference rig and actor. Both rigs are connected, which can be tested by moving the character rig and the actor follows along. All files are now in place and all subsequent actions are depending on the character chosen from the library. Some game engines might require a root joint at the scene origin. If you have the option enabled before creating the actor and your character doesn't have this joint yet, you will be prompted to create one. Actor tools assist you in creating the root joint. Open your character hierarchy and select the joint which sits at the top of your hierarchy. Usually this is the root joint or pelvis joint. With the joint selected, press continue. If there are other joints at the same hierarchy level as the root joint, Actor Tool asks you if these joints should be parented to the new root joint as well. Parenting of these joints is recommended to make the root joint work for the game engine. With the root joint in place, setting up the actor will continue as before. It is possible that, depending on your rig and setup, that Actor Tools is not able to create a single joint hierarchy from your rig. Maybe your character is built from modules or you have floating joints which aren't part of any hierarchy. Actor Tools tries to find as many matching parent joints as possible, but the process will fail with floating joints. In case Actor Tools was unable to rebuild a single hierarchy, you will be asked to rebuild the hierarchy yourself. Open the Actor Group and manually parent any leftover joints. When you're done, press Finish Actor Rig. The parenting information gets stored with the character, so in case you need to rebuild the actor, you don't have to go through the manual process again, but build upon the already existing information. Select the new character from the library. Go to the Edit tab and press Load Character Rig. This is your rig file, and you can edit it if you want to make any changes to how your character can perform or can be animated. Maybe you need to update how the animation controls look. Note that you are only allowed to make changes which don't break the connection between rig and actor or any existing animation. After finishing the edit of the rig, press Save Character Rig to save the rig in a new version file. The same applies to loading the actor, maybe for updates to the skin deformation, and saving the actor along with a new version. To create a new animation, press Create New Animation Scene. This creates a fresh scene, references the rig and places the camera. When you're done with the animation, it's time to export it to transfer it over to the actor. Switch to the Animation tab and set the name of the animation. You can also use the File dialog to pick a file name. By default, animations are stored in the Animations folder of the current character. Press Save Animation. To load the animation onto the actor, switch to the Export tab and press Load Export Master Scene. This opens the master scene which contains the referenced and connected rig and actor scenes. Press Load Animation and pick the animation file from the file dialog. The frame range fields will display the length of the loaded animation file. This range will also be used for export, but you can also edit it. Set a name for the export file or choose a file from the file dialog. Exports will be saved to the export folder of the current character. By default, the export file is named after the character and current animation. Optionally, you can check Review to re-import the exported FBX file back into Maya to check if the export was successful. Press Bake and Export Actor. This bakes the animation onto the actor rig, disconnects the rigs and exports the actor. The resulting file is an FBX file. The basic options for the FBX format can be found on the Options tab. 
If you want to display the default Maya export window, check Menu, Options, Advanced Export. This will open the default export window when you press Bake and Export Actor.